Hey, my name is Lucas. I'm the owner of Agnia Kopanian Freediving School Thailand. Lucas has introduced thousands of people to freediving. He has trained many freediving instructors and coached multiple national record holders. To date, he has a clean record with no accidents. When I freedive, I'm no longer the observer. I'm the part of the ocean. When you are relaxed underwater, you seem less threatening to the marine animals and they are not afraid to come very close. When we train for deep freediving, we always use buoys and lines. The lines help us to orientate ourselves underwater, we use them for propulsion and as a safety device. Our lines are a magnet for whale sharks and other animals. They are very interested what we are doing. Some days, the drastic change of current and rain bring some unwanted visitors, the box jellyfish. If they got stuck to the lines, it's destructive to them and very dangerous to us. One thing happened for sure, the session is over until we clean the line. Jellyfish are mainly free-swimming marine animals. With umbrella-shaped bells and trailing tentacles, most are relatively harmless majestically floating in the currents, providing shelter to small fish. Others are active predators, vigorously chasing their prey. Considered the most dangerous of them all is the box jellyfish, or Kubozoa. Swimming as fast as two meters per second, they can rapidly accelerate and change direction. They have 24 eyes and use them all to seek out their prey. The tentacles, which can reach up to six meters long, on contact release microscopic darts delivering an extremely potent venom. One box jellyfish has potentially enough venom to kill 60 men. In fact, the 43 known species of box jellyfish account for more deaths and serious injuries than sharks, sea snakes and stingrays combined. Most of the time we can see approaching box jellyfish in advance and I was wondering what can we do to protect them and our students. Disclaimer, what you are about to see me doing is dangerous and potentially lethal. Box jellyfish are active predators and approaching them without proper freediving or diving skills can lead to serious injuries or death. Guys, seriously, don't try to replicate it. For a long time I was wondering if it would be possible to change the direction of their swim. In glove hand, I was trying to stimulate their sight and force them to follow my hand and chase it as their prey. Unfortunately, it didn't work until a couple of days ago. To my surprise, the box jellyfish started to interact with me quite vigorously when I approached them with the naked hand. I was able to change the path of the swimming box jellyfish sometimes by 90 degrees from its initial direction. The box jellyfish was more likely to follow me when I was diving down. But sometimes it didn't work at all. Box jellyfish froze and it didn't change its behavior or movement. As you can see, despite my tries, we didn't get any response. On both days of shooting, conditions in the water were almost the same with good visibility and little to no current with temperature around 26 degrees. I felt confident swimming very close to the box jellyfish until I witnessed their hunting behavior. The box jellyfish can quickly accelerate or change its direction chasing the prey. It can suddenly stop flipping its bell 180 degrees while tentacles still moving forward scatter towards the prey. After the unsuccessful attack, the box jellyfish behaves calmly. Why naked hand worked and the glove hand not? I don't know. We need more research. But maybe you have the answer. As you can see, it is possible to influence the direction of the swim of the box jellyfish. But by any means, I don't advise anyone to try to use this technique as a valuable way to defend from the box jellyfish. If the freediving or diving is your passion and you still want to spend time in the water, what can you do when you see the box jellyfish? First thing 
is to swim away and stay at a safe distance. Remember, its tentacles can reach 6 meters in length. Try to swim against the current and stay in front of them. If you are ready too close, don't push them away. Contact with tentacles or bell will create excruciating pain. I'm sure you found this video informative. Dive safe, protect the ocean and I see you underwater.